Hey, it's Josh with Recro Services. Today I'm going to show you how to recondition your headlights. If you got an older car like this, it's got two, three hundred thousand kilometers on it, chances are the UV rays have wrecked your lights now and they're all hazed up. I got a solution that's going to last for years, not months like some of these 3M products, but this fix will go three, four years. My truck, we did it five years ago. It's working really good. So today I'm going to show you how to get it done on your own and it's cheap. So there's two options when you go to recondition headlights. You can remove them or do them in the car. When I do these, I pull them out so I can control the environment. And we're gonna be painting these or spraying them with a clear coat. I don't want that overspray on the cars. So I can control the environment better with the lights removed. Wanted to show you before we sand is what we're gonna be after here. So there's this haze here, it's oxidation. And when the light shines, it diffuses against that and makes the lights not work so well. The lights are designed not to diffuse against the lens, but out on the road. Um, so that's what we're trying to restore here. This one's got that hazing here, it's quite bad. The second one, so this would have been the driver's side, same thing, there's this hazing mark that goes across the center there. These ones were out of the Subaru and they're just in bad shape in general. Like the lighting's not very good. It's actually my daughter's car and she's been complaining about it. So we're gonna fix this up for her this time. Uh, someone had tried to do a fix here with uh, a solvent and they wiped it off and it actually worked not bad for a spot, but then wiped the hazing into other spots. So all this stuff is gonna be sanded out and I'll go over those steps as we move forward. I have a sander, you could do it by hand. This sander works awesome, it's an orbital. And the first go will be a 320 right there. Second go will be an 800 and then we stop. There's no polishing in this process. So the next update, I'll uh, show you how these different processes look on the lights and we'll move it forward. Okay, the lights are now set up so you can see the different stages. There's actually four stages I got set here. First stage, you've already seen that one. It's got the oxidation, there's no change. I haven't done anything. The second one, this is the 320. Uh, it's been sanded down. We got all the oxidation out. The important step when you're doing the 320 is to actually get in there deep enough to get the oxidation out. And it's uh, sometimes a little challenging. Once you've done this a few times, it's easier to see, but you really gotta do a, a good job with the 320, 320, get in there deep enough to get the oxidation out. But it's really rough. It's rough to touch. It doesn't look very good yet. The next light, this one here, we uh, sanded that one down now with the 800. And you can see how it's quite a bit lighter than the 320. So it's knocked off all the high ridges and the plastic's more translucent, I think would be the word for that one now, and you can see through it. So we've got how it looked to start with, the 320 sand, the 800 sand. The next step when you're painting, cleanliness is super important. You don't wanna wipe this down with an alcohol or a silicone-based solvent. Uh, you gotta be careful what you wipe it down with. Soap and water would even be better, as long as it dries really good. The product I was told to use is called RM903. This is what painters use to clean their surfaces. So I wipe it down with the RM903 really good, and it's all cleaned up and ready for painting. And believe it or not, we do not sand past that. If you do, your paint's gonna have a hard time adhering to the surfaces here. So this one is all ready to go. We just spray right on top of that. I'll uh, I'll grab the paint supplies and run you through what's needed to make this work next. So all the lights are prepped now, cleaned, ready to go. So we're at the fun part, spraying. When I first started doing this, I started with clear coats like this. Uh, just get a good quality clear coat from any parts store. And you can use that just to spray the lights. And it turns out pretty good. You have to have a bit of a knack for spray painting and knowing how the paint goes on. But I've had good success with that. If you were doing this at home by yourself and you're just leaving the lights inside the car and you're gonna mask things off, spray bombs are probably the best way to go and not a bad option and they don't cost a lot. After I've been doing this for a bit, I upgraded to what painters use and this is the uh, same as the clear coat that's used in your car. It's got excellent UV protection, so it's gonna stop the lights from fading in the future. And I really like that. And there's great protection because clear coat on cars, it lasts a long time. There's a little bit of work to this. It's a, a two part paint. So you gotta mix it and get it all set up. And then you end up using a spray gun. So you'll need a compressor and a regulator. And it's a little bit of work to set up, but if you're gonna do more than just one car and you're gonna maybe make a small business out of this, this is a good option to go with and it doesn't cost you much. I will, uh, 
show you the next stage, which is awesome. We're gonna take these really hazy lights and I don't sand them anymore, I promise you. They go from this to looking like crystal clear here in just a minute. I'll show you the next steps. Okay, so you pretty much have to believe me. All I did was spray them and now we've got this. It is an awesome, bright, clear light that looks like new. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I got this Milwaukee light. I'm just shining on it because the more light you can put on this, if there's imperfections, you're gonna see it. And they're not, they're not perfect. I tried and I've done this lots and I still get little inclusions here and there, but I'm telling you, these lights from what they were to what they are now, nighttime driving just got 10 times better. Let's see if we can shine in here. You can even see the reflection on the inside. There's that halo from, uh, there's one of those blue night light bulbs in there. It's actually reflecting off there. So that's gonna shine on the road that much brighter now. And here we go. Like, honestly, from 800 grit, you leave it at 800. That way, when you hit it with the clear coat, it has adhesion. It's gonna stick there for a long time. If you polish it up to 2,000, 3,000 and higher and try and paint it because you think you're gonna do a better job, it might look like it at first, but long-term, that the paint can't stick to it, it's gonna flake off. So if you follow the steps I showed you, man, you could have some high quality headlights turn out like for, for budget, very low price. Like if you went with those spray tins and you did it all by hand in the car, like 50 bucks will last for years. Instead of 50 bucks, you gotta do it again in six months. So here you go, hope you like the video.